Hey, hello there, my dear friends, how are you today? My name is Ivan and welcome to, um, I have to say, a new video regarding Total War Pharaoh Dynasties. Uh, how to say, uh, I, uh, and I hope you're doing well wherever you are in the Bronze Age, uh, especially Egypt, of course, because I actually try to play with Egypt. Uh, I try to, uh, how to say, uh, to, uh, let you say, not finish campaign, but uh, to accomplish some goals. And of course, the most important goal is to become a Pharaoh. And actually, after see here after 173 turns i become a pharaoh man so yeah it will actually a long time a long time to do this but uh i did it man and um how to say it i actually choose uh, uh this uh, legacy ancient legacy uh and uh, i actually finish i build a great pyramid which you know uh, give you happiness diplomatic relation legitimacy with 3.4 uh, great gardens give you food influence legitimacy and victory points and colossal statues uh, i actually didn't uh, build it i conquer it uh, so yeah uh, when, when you actually want to uh, how to say finish all you must to conquer it or let's like say put those guys as uh, the, to, the for them to become your uh, how to say wazel uh, and yeah actually i captured those guys uh, see moral plus 10 of uh, elite pharaoh units uh, leg legitimacy 16, victory points 4, melee attack 10, elite pharaoh units, armor piercing limits and damage, elite pharaoh units. So this is only for a pharaoh, I mean for a pharaoh regarding units. Uh, so yeah, I finished this, uh, when you actually go here, victory points, objectives, I actually, I, I could uh, go here, uh, require victory points 110, I have 72. So you see here, uh, as you, how to see play campaign, your uh, things, uh, let's see, landmarks, uh, Feast of Rule and of course for Foreign Conquest and Cult Centers. You have, we have 25 uh, more uh, Cult Centers in the game, which is uh, amazingly huge, man. Uh, it's very, very huge. And uh, as you can see how many things I actually conquer, let's say uh, I become a Pharaoh, uh, uh, a Carol Legitimacy, I make your uh, name synonymous with God King. I have no idea how I, I achieve this. Uh, uh, maintain 80, 800 favor with one guard. I actually have a, uh, uh, with three guards uh, favor, and uh, it didn't give me at once this uh, how to say reward, but after um, how to say a couple of turns. So as you can see, I actually have a tot, I have a moon, and I have tot. So you see Tot, uh, the Water General, Armor 22, Disarmy, Lethality 7, uh, plus 7, Disarmy, we have Shrines, Prayer, uh, let us see uh, what I, uh, I have, um, oh, come on, worship, I have a Moon, uh, and I will show you uh, later regarding a Moon, something uh, specific, uh, let us see, the Water General Speed plus 20, Melee at damage 24, uh, and XP for battles uh, 40%. And prayer, uh, it actually, it's quite good to go to, the pr to pray to pray to this god for a battle. You see, melee attack 24 uh, and experience from battles 13. And I have part, part, part. Yeah, uh, the water general charge bonus. So nothing really special. Uh, prayer riding income. So if you let's you want to uh, how to say be uh, start with tribe and this is uh god for you man but look at these shrines man recruitment cost minus 24 uh, percent on armies in this region happiness plus 8 food plus 12 uh, this is awesome man gold uh, income uh, during crisis the gold income during prosperity so he is actually great uh, and in my campaign here uh, i actually uncover uh, uh, discover other gods as well i discover l uh asher yam uh, and I believe, uh, yeah, I actually just discovered them so far. Uh, but yeah, this is regarding gods. So let me go to victory points. Uh, uh, so yeah, this is those the settlements that you let's say to conquer. Uh, foreign settlement, Western Desert. I actually uh, almost do everything here. I don't know, uh, in, uh, let's say, Western Desert, what else I need. Maybe to capture Karga. Uh, as you can see, this is my uh, map. Too bad we don't have uh, this area here. That is bad. I hope they will actually, uh, 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 how to say, put up uh, Western Desert also. Uh, and yeah, as you can see, uh, I didn't discover uh, Greece. I didn't discover Mesopotamia. So uh, my goal here in this campaign is uh, to become a pharaoh, man. And uh, how to say, in the meantime, 
to uh, how to say discover uh, new things and believe me my friends I discover a lot of great things maybe you discover them uh, in your journey but maybe you're not uh, play, while playing with Egypt but I did uh, how to say I discover a lot of things uh, just a sec to show you more things here not here uh, I actually start start with faction of first commander second dynasty you see I start with him and you have this uh, 30 dynasty of Egypt you see how many dynasties we actually change you have here a couple of uh, things I don't know what is the actually uh, you need to uh, I don't know what this means maybe just some kind of notifications or biography for you your dynasty maybe and uh, yeah you will see how let's see how I progressed through uh, this campaign uh, just a second can I uh, zoom out this no I cannot uh, and uh, so yeah, Seknet, uh, after that we have this guy, uh, you see, uh, he actually, because he, you, when you start with him, uh, with him, he is already old, you know, uh, and we have cultured, uh, with this dude, I have respected culture and wishes, after that we have, uh, and with, the, with this dude, I, actually, I become a pharaoh, you see, pharaoh. Raised in the wild, uh, presence plus one and door plus two, charge of heavy shield, okay, culture respectful. So, uh, yeah, dynasty three, uh, you can see uh, regarding from uh, this dude, what I have. I have this guy, uh, I have two kids, uh, this is my wife, respectful, color, blah, blah, dynasty, and this is the entire thing, man. And uh, yeah, you need, you have to say. Uh, you can actually go from here, uh, rounds the first seti, rounds the second, Menepta seti. After that, uh, this guy will become a pharaoh. Uh, just to see how many how to say uh, how many time uh, how many turns and how uh, uh, how to say how many years uh, uh, go by uh, until I become a pharaoh. So basically, seti uh, faction dominated as a pharaoh. You see, 25. Six and after that, this guy. Uh, I, I forgot the name of the, this faction. Uh, is this three Ramses or uh, I can remember? So they actually ruled 27 dynasties, uh, 28 dynasties, 29 dynasty of Egypt, uh, and I became a pharaoh in 30 dynasty. And uh, it took me a long time actually to. Uh, uh, I actually uh, threw this guy out. Uh, finally, after a civil war and after I actually have more le legitimacy up, uh, than him so that was the way that I, I become a pharaoh so this is it regarding that uh, as you can see how many uh, resources I have this is legitimacy uh, how many legitimacy I have uh, gold 12,000 bronze uh, 13,000 wood 14,000 uh, I don't have a enough uh, amount of stone but look at the food man almost uh, 100k so I uh, just like to see uh, I have Western Desert here just like uh, Western Desert so yeah this is uh, what I need to actually conquer do uh, okay all right this is regarding that so uh, what is the point uh, I uh, when I actually first play Pharaoh I didn't know what these circles are with lotus flowers around them what the circles present and uh, now I pl uh, while I play campaign I figure it out those are cult centers and with cult center you have let us say some unique buildings or you uh, have see buildings with uh, unique recruitment but let us say I will just show you uh, that this is my capital Ammonia and in Ammonia uh, I believe you have in every settlement you can build uh, this monument of greatness uh, and you can build only one uh, how to say one of this structure you see legitimacy plus 12 happiness plus 7 influence plus 7 happiness plus 5 victory points plus 5 but uh, building gold keep uh, minus 50 uh, i really don't care you know uh, and uh, let's say to, another, to go to other provinces uh, if i actually can see something uh, which is unique let me say uh, with this uh, settlement we have a uh, royal jewel Gold plus 10, influence plus 3, uh, influence plus 2, and happiness plus 6, and you can build only one. Uh, just a second, uh, here we don't have anything. This is three Ramses. Uh, just like to see uh, uh, this faction, I can remember, yeah, those guys are Serkeni faction. Okay, Serkeni faction. Just a second. 
They send it to Vaminas. Yeah, this is actually a confection of Visaryu uh, Kush. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, let me go uh, to show you other things as well, uh, what I discovered in my journey. Uh, yeah, this is, let me say, you see, uh, I don't have any description, this is, let, let me say, is this sacred land, you see, this uh, only, let me say, uh, description is this land is a part of Western Desert, and you can have, have gods, uh, Amun, uh, uh, Hapsi God, uh, Horus, Amun, and Zaris, but, when you go here, I will show you, we have uh, this building, man. the Northern Osiris Fields, uh, and this is opportunity, but you see here, happiness plus 5, influence plus 3, happiness plus 2, uh, victory plus 1, food income plus 20, uh, 215, but uh, of course you need to read this adjusting provinces, so uh, food income, uh, source buildings, and blah, 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 but you can build royal marauders, but when you actually go to try to see them, uh, how to say, how they look, uh, you actually cannot see them, you know, uh, where are they? Those are those uh, black guys I put in the pole, uh, image with uh, yellow things around the, the, their head, with uh, yellow shields, and they are bloody awesome. You see, uh, just like to see, uh, look at this, uh, armor 55, moral 65, uh, melee attack 60, charge bonus 45. And of course you have uh, specifications here about them, what they have, uh, the underdog, uh, ambushers, uh, furious charge, stock and hide. Uh, so they have stock, the unit can move hidden in any terrain, terrain, which is amazing. So yeah, so you need to actually, when you play a campaign, you need to actually see what you can build, man. So don't forget about that, that is very important. If you want to actually have some specific buildings or you have lots of unique buildings or bu end buildings uh, that you can actually build those units, uh, specific units, of course. So to show you the what we else have, uh, let me see, you have uh, Grand Bazaar, uh, Grand Bazaar, uh, let's say, uh, too bad, I cannot find uh, what do you need to build this, but uh, you see what you can, uh, what you get, legitimacy, happiness, influence, for career growth, bronze income, food income, gold income, stone income, and wood income, everything, so you have everything basically. Uh, 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 let me go, uh, Okay, this is a bit civil. Now we don't have anything important here. Pre uh, 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 Ramses, I start building as you can see. And here we have uh, 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 nothing special. Uh, rather, okay, we actually capture this. And yeah, so here we have, let's say, uh, here we have cult center. In this place, as I said, we didn't have a cult center, so we don't have anything, but you have the opportunity to build this Northern Osiris field, uh, Oasis field, sorry. And when you go to Menefra, um, you have, of course, a unique ability, let's say you have a Grand Temple of Tat, so you can build Grand Temples, but you have this uh, Royal War Academy, and that will give you, uh, that will give you uh, those guys. Come on. Uh, yeah, uh, Warriors of Sobek. So uh, they are also uh, bloody awesome. Uh, uh, they are expensive to build, but they are very, very, very great. So uh, as I said, you need to pay attention, man. Uh, what you're building, uh, what your buildings are. Let me say uh, for armorer. Uh, is this it? Not. Uh, where is that place I built? Yeah, uh, Royal uh, Bronze Worker, uh, this, is, this is also great, and when you actually build this, uh, you actually see it changes when you play the battle, uh, they have armor, bronze armor, and you know, that, and that is awesome also. So you have this, you see bronze plus 5, after this uh, armor on equipment plus 5, uh, bronze plus 10, but happiness minus 1. And here you have a uh, third uh, tier of the building, you have armor on equipment plus 10, Bronze plus 20, but happiness minus 2. So, uh, yeah, that is also great to build. And, and yeah, that is regarding uh, the buildings, man, uh, and units. Uh, so far, I actually discovered, as I, uh, as I show you, uh, what I discover, uh, why, why, what I conquer so far. And if you go in diplomacy, I actually put, uh, let's say, uh, one faction to be my vassal. Uh, 
only the second guy out of those guys. Last Pirating guys. for profit! Uh, no, give me a uh, treatise. Yeah. I fight for my brothers! I have those guys, uh, I don't know, uh, ruler of Askelon, Elku, I have no idea who those, those people are. But uh, they are my vassal. Uh, you are uh, the sovereign of this faction through that retain their autonomy and get their, your protection. However, they, mu uh, they must provide you military support in your wars, wars and also send you courtesy gift every few turns. Uh, I actually get from him a stone. He sent me 2000 stone, which is great. And I'm Pharaoh of Egypt, a descendant of Sekhnati Queen. Yeah. Uh, all right, so oh, this is remember me. regarding this. Just a second to get out of it. Uh, Regarding battles, uh, well, I believe most of the people, uh, have to, and that is my actually only my opinion, they will, uh, yeah, they want to actually skip the battles regarding the battles itself, because uh, I don't know. Uh, but for me, uh, battles uh, are the best in Total War Attila and Round Two. For me, I didn't play Warhammer, and, and I don't want to play Warhammer. And of course, if you include. Uh, Troy and uh, 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 three kingdoms when you have uh, that ability to play as one dude, that is great. Uh, and uh, but regarding, let us say, weather changes, uh, uh, how to say, uh, surroundings in the battle, background, I, I have uh, numerous battles, uh, how to say, when I uh, play around Giza, and let's say I fight here, and you can see uh, Giza pyramids in the background, which is great, man, and I love it. So, uh this is all how to say uh, regarding battles uh, yeah you want to play battles to see uh, all those changes you know where the changes uh, raining thunders uh, lightning uh, sandstorm uh, where the changing in battles and background and of course you have those cha uh, how to say charges of units uh, yeah actually battles are cool but not good enough at least for me so that is uh, one point uh, one thing i don't like about in this game those battles but it's not a really big issue you know Okay, so let me go to, uh, 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 let me say, go to the power of the crown. One just a second, let me go first to the court. Yeah. Mine uh, is a court worthy of the gods. Yeah, and so, my story, uh, how I became pharaoh, actually, uh, I tried, uh, I, maybe a few times, I actually uh, succeed to blackmail the pharaoh but when you blackmail the pharaoh i believe you only get uh, regarded him and uh, he lose legitimacy and you actually uh, raise your legitimacy so when you actually you can assassinate him uh, you see plot assassinate i tried a number of times to kill a pharaoh but i didn't succeed it uh, so yeah uh, this thing is also cool to play with a little and you can see my uh, uh, crown isn't uh, red enough the pharaoh has equipped in the uh, facet crown all court uh, position abilities and their requests are empowerment so i will show you that uh, what that means uh, and yeah, uh, yeah actually i do everything here uh, and of course you can put let's say some characters uh, to put three unlock and upgrade royal power court presence to add more characters to positions in your court you can do it in power of the crown panel we will go that later so uh what is your how to say position uh how to say uh, are your position benefits uh as a pharaoh uh, uh, elite units and special recruitment uh, recru uh, recruitment intrigues against this position cost additional gold or regard plots against them have a low chance to set and you have 20 legitimacy and what you can also do you can actually throw those guys from the court in just a second you see throw on the court uh, you cost uh, 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 228 uh, gold and you can throw it and put uh, your guy into it uh, let's see here 56 so a higher position more gold and here 360 so yeah uh, if we go to let's say one of my armies and i go my to name will be legend. special recruitment uh, this category contains a little bit of a uh, supreme ruler of a uh, certain good vassal units. Uh, received as courtesy gift from your vassals. Oh, look at this. We have also units from vassals. Uh, actually, I don't see them. Uh, maybe here. Nope. So let's see. Uh, special recruitment uh, by occupant certain uh, elite units made available by supreme ruler or by occupant certain court positions. Vassal units received as courtesy gift from your vassals 
actual units obtained throughout achieving ambitions. Okay, so maybe in a couple of turns I will get uh, Vassal units in special equipment, but uh, when you go here, you have uh, Braves with the King. Uh, they are uh, tier 6. You have Faro Guard, uh, charge bonus 57. Those guys have melee defense 65. You have Royal Archers, I cannot build them now because I have lots of them. Uh, their range is 200 only, but they have uh, damage 56, uh, armor 55, moral 70s, and so on and so forth. And he also can have uh, just block, I just like to see. Oh, I cannot see it. Yeah, we can see here. Rapid fire. Uh, range minus 20, uh, reload time minus 20, uh, let's say plus 20 reload time because rapid fire. Uh, you have spread out units, which is great. And you have uh, aim true. So imagine you put this and you put, uh, uh, let's say, direct shot, man, you know, you, you will kill them ASAP. So that is about them. We have Royal Cherry Champions and Royal Kopesh cards. So, okay, now let you go to the uh, power of the crown. So, as I said, uh, I was uh, able to, uh, I didn't know that, but I was able to become a pharaoh during uh, civil war, and uh, just uh, in uh, fact, I have more legitimacy than this dude. I want nothing. Oh, come on, bro. Uh, very nice. And that is uh, how I become a pharaoh. So, uh, the civil war cooldown. Uh, is nine turns. So uh, when you actually close to the how to say here uh, Pharaoh's legitimacy, let's say uh, this is uh, some other dude and this is I. And if I let's say have 250 legitimacy or 300 legitimacy, I can maybe uh, invoke uh, civil war. I believe that is the case. Uh, or maybe some other dude uh, who actually have more legitimacy uh, than me, he can provoke uh, civil war. So that is uh, regarding that legitimacy. So uh, once you have enough legitimacy, you can contest the crown and legitimacy war, as I said. At the end, the faction with the most legitimate become a pharaoh, gaining us the royal powers and crown for his faction leader. So as you can see, I have this crown, uh, which you give me, let's say you give me production of resources plus 10, uh, but replenishing is 5. Uh, you have pharaoh presence, uh, and we cannot see it for now. Uh, I will show you just a second where is my pharaoh. Where are you? Bro? Look at all of this. Pharaoh of Egypt! Yeah, and then you can go here. Uh, so, yeah, this is. Uh, wait a second, where is it? Yeah, this is this crown. Uh, 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 and you see what you gave a recrypting slots plus one. Our size, I don't know what is our size. If, uh, you can actually uh, how to say write me in the comments below uh, 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 grants ability faro presence this army unit bodyguards uh, replenish plus 10 happiness minus 5 production minus 5 diplomatic race minus 5 so this is actually uh, useful when you actually go to the all out war you know uh, this is where you, uh, your ordinary crown this is probably the production and everything else as I said uh, and of course you have description uh, available to the of Pharaoh who controls the city of uh, and This is this crown. So uh, civilization point plus 10, legitimacy uh, plus 5. I don't know what is civilization points. I didn't see that uh, in the victory co victory conditions. I have no idea what is that. Uh, happiness plus 1 uh, uh, adjusted on provinces. The happiness plus 3 this province from generals. Removes benefits from horde invaders this province. Uh, and of course, we have this crown. Legitimacy plus 10, uh, diplomatic relation plus 10 faction wide with all factions. Improve effects of all court uh, position, court position available to the pharaoh who controls either Vaset or Manfred. So yeah, that is uh, regarding crowns. And uh, when you go here, let's see, this is what I, I have cultured. And I have respectful tree. So you're respectful, you get uh, get your happiness, and culture give you construction cost. Uh, this is actually what is also important for you to know. You have those. Uh, you see, I have now three of these things. When you become pharaoh, you have one more thing here, and uh, you can click that, uh, and uh, you can click here. I believe for this actually to unlock this thing. 
so this is uh, let's say uh, you see level 10 uh, do you know who you're fighting and you have effects threatened, uh, threatened by uh, how to say 20 seconds morale minus 10 I have this uh, shields up uh, a missile parry with shield 50% speed of course charge speed uh, nothing more so uh, I believe uh, let's see here charge when you have this another thing uh, pop out like this but you have this thing here you will uh, how to say have some uh, I, I don't know if it's this the thing or something else now I forgot uh, yeah excuse me guys I forgot <laughs> so if anyone know you uh, let me know in the comments below what is this uh, what is that sign when you actually get one more skill points so this is regarding uh, uh, let us say a pharaoh regarding the same abilities causes fear this is because I have Sobek warriors uh, mountain expert uh, uh, units mountain allies uh, effect radius 150 this is constant so you, if you have chariots around you they will have speed and charge speed plus 20 percent which is great and this is all you see shields up and do you know who you're fighting okay let me go uh, another so we have regalia i didn't conquer uh Vasset, so uh, when i conquer well, let's say Vasset, i will have all the crowns available to me but we have royal powers Higher uh, legitimacy give uh, more royal powers to the pharaoh. As you can see, I have, don't, don't have uh, 400 legitimacy to open this, but let me say, uh, with, with 150 legitimacy, you have uh, powers, man. So you see, you have royal power, uh, let, uh, how to say, uh, career labor. You have uh, growth migration. Uh, this is for workforce. This is for, uh, let me say, constructing buildings directly up to the level two. In all settlements in the province, so I have this uh, royal power. Uh, you can fill three out of five position in the court, and uh, competency uh, three. Uh, let's see, tier, tier three. Employ scribes in reflection to uh, disseminate knowledge and allow your characters to increase their competency in regular interviews. Uh, tier three, uh, three co competency points will be uh, be available to spend. Uh, aha! Uh, I believe this is it. Uh, can I somehow? No, I cannot. Fuck. Uh, damn it! I cannot turn this off now. Three competency points uh, will become available to spend on any character or every cooldown. So uh, cooldown eight, co current cooldown five. So yeah, uh, maybe we can actually go to try to see what is this, but we'll not do that. Uh, maybe let's current. Well, yeah, we need to fire. Uh, how to say? Yeah. So uh, yeah, this is it regarding uh, my journey uh, as a pharaoh and uh, how to say my final verdict regarding this game uh, I don't know, uh, from 1 to 5 I will give them, let's say 4 from 1 to, to 10 I will give them 9 uh, for now, you know I play only with Egypt uh, as you can see how many uh, regions I conquer and uh, yeah and you can see when you go here look at the map man and as i said i need 100 i needed 173 turns actually to become a pharaoh uh yeah that is actually ima amazing so my friends this is it i hope you will enjoy this video uh as i said this game is uh, great and i will play this game uh when i finish dividing conquer uh, on twitch i will play uh either that or Troy so either uh, how to say Pharaoh uh, Dynasties or Troy I will play uh, no let's say I will play uh, Total War Troy on Twitch and Kick uh, and uh, on the Pharaoh if you guys want uh, on YouTube if you guys want me to let's say play uh, first 20 turns with another faction uh, minor or major let me know in the comments below so until then my friends if you like this video don't forget to uh, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, click the like, click the notification bell, and we will see you later. Very well.